Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Scorpio, this is a quickie. Uh, pulling your energy for this month of March, it is going to be, I believe, St. Patrick's Day, the month of luck. So I'm speaking luck up on you, Scorpio. Abundance, the four-leaf clover, the green, the money, the dollar bill, y'all, them big head hundred, Scorpio, is what we're claiming in this month here because the energy is available. So tap into that energy of abundance, Scorpio, because it's all over you. So, of course, I'm pulling from my fortune cards here because these are so precise and so beautiful. And so I pulled you a six-card spread, Scorpio, because this is going to be quick, not clarify anything. No chasers. We're taking this straight to the dome, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, you are indeed the phoenix. So, Scorpio, be prepared to be re re renewed after a period of crisis. So... If anyone has been through crisis, we know Scorpio has. But Scorpio, this is renewal time for you. This is brand new beginning times for you, Scorpio. You put in the uh, turmoil of emotional uh, uh, energy here. Now it's time for Scorpio to be renewed and be rewarded here, Scorpio. Now, this Phoenix card, uh, it represents uh, pertaining to your personal life and your relationships that it says it represents power and prosperity in all areas of your life. The phoenix is a symbol of freedom to do what you have always wanted to do, Scorpio. You will have an increased vision for your long-term goals. Get ready for the new positive you, Scorpio, to emerge brilliantly. Shine your light, Scorpio, here. Now, it also says uh, uh, you can have more meaningful uh, relationships now. It says to don't waste time on those that don't have a future with you, Scorpio. It says to drop those zeros and get yourself a hero, Scorpio. It says there will be a psychic connection with new friends and lovers. Even existing relationships will grow stronger or get left behind, Scorpio, if you choose to embrace a new chapter in your life. This card also favors a positive relationship union uh, comprising very yin and yang commitments and highlights of birth of a child. So Scorpios, if you're trying to have a baby, it seems like this month of March and this energy here, this Phoenix energy, um, now is the time for you to have that baby, honey. I'm just saying this is what to say. Now about your, your money, it says now is a magnificent. I didn't say it. This is what they said. They said now is a magnificent time for career and finances, Scorpio, especially for those who remain positive and make the necessary changes to their current life. Your aurora is sparkling, and you can now make your dreams a reality, Scorpio. You can rise to the top of your career, and your finances will improve. Your creative side will come out, and talents you didn't even realize you had, Scorpio, will emerge. This is the energy of the phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis, Scorpio. So we know there's been crisis in Scorpio's life, especially in relationships where people seem like they're always trying to get over on Scorpio and do Scorpio wrong. And the Seven of Swords energy, Scorpio. But right next to the Seven of Swords energy, Scorpio, we have the Temperance card here. So it's like, yeah, I know people have done me wrong. I know life has been kind of crappy to me, but that's okay. I'm just going to bounce back. Bounce back. I'm going to take control of my life. I'm going to bring the balance into my own life what I need to do to make me more happier with myself here. So I feel like Scorpio is, is cleansing. Scorpio is renewing Scorpio's energy, and Scorpio is shining brightly here. Now underneath the Seven of Swords, you have the Six of Staff. Scorpio is successful. Scorpio, you're already successful. Did you know that? If you can visualize and see it in your head, then, honey, you're already successful. You are what you think you are. It don't matter what brown eyes say. It's, it don't think matters. It's what you think so if you know that you are successful, Scorpio, claim your success. You don't have to wait to see it. I mean, how is that fake if you see beautiful things and you're optimistic, but when you see uh, cloudy days, are you still optimistic? Scorpio, can you stand the rain? Of course you can stand the rain, Scorpio. You water. So this is victory and success in this six of staffs for you, Scorpio. Next to the six of staffs, Scorpio, we got the king of coins. Now, this ain't nobody. This ain't no earth sign coming into you. This is your energy. We're pulling nothing but Scorpio's energy. This is for you, Scorpio. Not your boo. Not your side chick. Not your husband, your wife, your third party. Not, this is Scorpio specifically. This is you bossing up in your king of coins energy, Scorpio. So, like I say, if your finances have not manifested, keep your energy positive. 
Think you are a boss, Scorpio. You have to think boss before you can achieve boss, Scorpio. So I feel like this is you striving and being successful in your money here. Very, very uh, uh, taking care of business. You're very financially secure. This is what you're successful. This is what you're striving to be. And I feel like you're trying to obtain, obtain this on your own. You just, Because it seems like Scorpio had the hardest time trying to find someone to obtain this with. So this is the universe's way of boss, <coughs> excuse me, of bossing you up and putting you in your own energy so you can get it yourself and you don't have to depend on anybody because if this king of coins can't take care of business nobody can but this is your energy this is the energy that's in you as uh, a lot of you scorpios are going to be making very very good money you're going to have excellent careers a lot of you scorpios are going to start owning your own businesses here so start thinking that thing and if you're not if you if you have a vision you have a dream write it down take action even if you take baby steps, as long as you're moving, Scorpio, then you, you will achieve it. Now, underneath the six of staffs, we have this queen of swords here. This is you, Scorpio. You ain't taking no shit from nobody. You cutting out stuff that ain't for you. You like, look, you had your chance. I'm not talking to you. I'm feeling myself. I'm doing me. And this is the renewed Scorpio here. You're making head over heart decisions because we know Scorpio jump in with the heart. And Scorpio end up getting hurt. So this is you making changes. This is you choosing to put yourself first, Scorpio, instead of putting anyone else before you. And in return, Scorpio, you're going to be very, very successful doing your own thing because your last card is the nine of coins here. You got money. I, I see money all around, Scorpio. Scorpio, I see money all around you, honey, is all I'm trying to say. I see money all around you. I'm just trying to say. Now, do, do you want this money or don't you? But this is you very independent, very successful, and you ain't even need no man to get it. You're getting it on your own, Scorpio. That's what the universe wants you to know. So when you do meet that, that significant other, you won't be so dependent on them. You won't need them to feel like they have to validate you in any kind of way. Scorpio, you'll be holding your own here in this nine of coins energy, which is earth energy. I'm calling on earth energy for Scorpio. Uh, so underneath the bottom, we have the six of swords. You're moving towards calmer waters and you're moving into your power in the strength energy, Scorpio, for this brand new beginning in this full energy, Scorpio. So big, amazing things are coming for you, Scorpio. Just claim it. So, so as a man thinketh in his heart, Scorpio, then so is he. So think positive things for yourself so that those things can manifest for you, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, I told you this was a quickie. I hope it resonates with you, and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Scorpio, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, and Scorpio, I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpio.